Hello everyone! For today's lesson, we will talk about how text, visual, audio, motion, manipulative, and multimedia information are created and used. Good day, my dear students! I'm glad to see and be with you again to another full of information and lessons to be learned only here at Sir John's online class. If you still don't know me yet, let me introduce myself. I'm Mr. John Lexter El Emberador, or better known as Sir John. I'm a proud public school teacher in the senior high school and I'm here to guide and teach you about your subject in media and information literacy. So what are you waiting for? Prepare yourself and your personal things as we begin our discussion. At the end of our lesson, you as a learner are expected to first, identify the different dimensions of information and media. Second, create a list of advantages and limitations of information and media. And lastly, generalize the important lessons learned and how to apply it in daily living. For the most essential learning competency of this lesson as prescribed by Department of Education, the learners are expected to analyze how the different dimensions are formally and informally produced, organized, and disseminated. Since you already know the objectives of our lesson, now it's time to test what you already know about the content of our lesson. So get ready! Get your paper and pen and answer the following questions flash on your screen. Direction. Read and carefully analyze the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. For each question, you only have 10 seconds to finish answering. Let's start. Question number one. It pertains to any sound or auditory impression perceived by the ears and processed by the brain. A text information and media, B, visual information and media, C, audio information and media, or D, motion information and media. Question number two. Which of the following do not describe how text information is produced? A. The writer submits the article to the editor or publisher. B. The writer gathers information about the topic. C. The writer makes a draft versus outline. Or letter D. The writer reviews the draft and develops it into a full text. Question number three. A large outdoor board containing text information and images or designs posted as a form of advertisement. A. Graph. B. Billboard. C. Chart. Or D. Poster. Question number four. Which of the following is not belong to the group? A. Podcast. B. Blog. C. Music. Or D. Conversation. Question number five. Textbooks, encyclopedia, periodicals, and journals are example of information and media in A. Text B. Visual C. Audio or D. Motion Now, let us check how many correct answers you have got in the pretest. So how was the result of your test? If you got a perfect score, congratulations because you are considered as the advanced learner in this lesson. It means that you understand some of the content of our topic. However, if you got some mistakes, 
then don't worry because pre-tests determine if the students are sufficiently prepared to begin a new lesson. That's why I advise you to carefully study the topic and listen very well to your teacher. For this activity, you will just simply identify if the type of media used in each statement is considered as text, visual, audio, motion, manipulative, or multimedia information and media. For each statement, you have 10 seconds to give your answer. So are your class ready? Alright! So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Listening to an FM radio show. Correct. That is audio information and media. Number two, sending a friend request on Facebook. Very good. That is manipulative information and media. Number three, looking at a photograph. Exactly. That is visual information and media. Number four, playing an online game with friends. Precisely. That is manipulative information and media. Number five, watching an animated LED billboard. Fantastic! That is visual information and media. Number six, reading a brochure. Great! That is text information and media. Number seven, playing a virtual reality game. Amazing! That is manipulative information and media. Number 8. Participating in an online game show. Wonderful! That is manipulative information and media. Number 9. Watching a television show. Perfect! That is manipulative information and media. Number 10. Watching a video podcast. Marvelous! That is audio information and media. Congratulations class! You are done in the first part of activity of this lesson. That's why you deserve to give yourself a big hand of applause. So by the way, what can you say about our recent activity? Mm, okay, so what kind of consideration did you make to determine what kind of information was asked in each statement? Uh-huh, if that is your answer, let us find out if your understanding is correct. This topic we discussed the different sources of text information. Text information can be found in print media, such as books, newspapers, and magazines. Do you still recall the two classification of books or stories in your previous topic in the 21st century literature? Can you try to name it, class? That's great! That is fiction and non-fiction. When we say fiction, it pertains to stories that are imagined or not true, such as fairy tales, mythologies, and legends. Most works of fiction are regarded as form of literature. On the other hand, non-fiction is based on facts and reality. Biographies, news, and scientific research are examples of non-fiction works. 
These are often found in textbooks, encyclopedias, periodicals, and journals. Text information is produced through the following steps. First, the writer chooses a topic that he would like to write about. Second, the writer gathers information about the topic. Third, the writer makes an outline of the topic and writes the draft. Fourth, the writer reviews the draft and develops it into a full text. And lastly, the writer submits the article to the editor or publisher. Text information cannot only be classified either fiction or non-fiction, but can also be categorized according to its genre. Genre pertains to a specific style or theme of a particular work of art, music, or literature. It could be any of the following, comedy or humor, tragedy or drama, suspense and thriller, horror, romance, science fiction, historical, autobiography, biography and memoir, inspirational or self-help, and religious. Different visual information uses varied mediums and appeals to varied audiences. It also conveys different messages depending on how the artist wants his art to be seen or interpreted. Can you name some types of visual information that you have studied before in your art subject? Let us find out if your answer is correct. The first one is painting. It is an art form that creates picture using a flat medium, such as canvas or board, and paint. Examples are landscape, portrait, still life, and icon. Second is photo or images. A photo is worth a thousand words, isn't it? It can tell a story or even let the viewer feel emotions by just looking at it. Photos are also used as evidence to document historical events. Examples are personal photo, family photo, photo journalism, yearbook or graduation photo, landscape photo, nature and wildlife photo, fashion or beauty photo, wedding photo, travel photo, underwater photo, religious photo, perspective photo, panoramic photo, digital infrared photo, time-lapse photo, and macro photo. Third is sculpture. It is a three-dimensional artwork that can be made using clay, stone, metal, or other materials. A sculpture shows a replica of the subject or model. Fourth is cartoon or comic strip. It shows illustrations or drawings arranged sequentially in boxes. Fifth is graphs and charts. A graph pertains to a diagram, which is a series of one or more points, lines, line segment, curves, or areas. It shows variables or numerical figures with corresponding interpretation illustrating a trend or phenomenon. A chart shows information through a table, diagram, or graph. And the last is billboard and poster. Billboard refers to a large outdoor board containing text information and images or designs posted as a form of advertisement. While a poster is like a billboard but is much smaller. A poster is also used as means of announcement or advertisement. Visual information and media is easy to understand, right? Now, let us proceed to audio information and media. Audio information pertains to any sound or auditory impression perceived by the ears and processed by the brain. Specifically, audio information can be any of the following. Dialogue or conversation, lecture or talk, news, podcast, audiobook, and music. Radio is one of the most common appliances we have at home. Apart from listening to music, we rely on the radio if we want to hear the news. Below are devices which deliver information. Radio, Walkman, Discman, MP3 player, iPod, and iTunes. What type of music do you frequently download and store in your devices? Did you know that in the 1970s, people buy cassette tapes to listen to the songs of their favorite recording artists? Below are devices which recorded and produced 
audio information, cassette tape, vinyl record, compact disc or CD player, and live performance. We cannot deny that despite the popularity of video-based media and multimedia, audio-based media still enjoys a healthy existence in the Philippines as evidenced in the legacy of radio broadcasting and the rise of podcasts. The next dimension of information and media is motion. The following are the types of motion information which are counterparts of the genres of text information. Comedy or humor, drama, suspense, horror, romance or love story, science fiction or fantasy, historical, inspirational, religious or spiritual, action, documentary, animation, musical, and adventure. Most people watch film or movie because it is a form of entertainment for them. It is considered as a part of someone's lifestyle and also an opportunity to bond with family and friends. That is the motion information and media. And now, let us proceed to manipulative information and media. Manipulative information and media allow interactivity or a two-way communication between users or a user and a computer software. It can be accessed using several platforms including the mobile apps, 3D TV, video games, interactive websites, immersive environments such as virtual reality, and social media. The following are examples of media manipulation, consumer confusion, crowd manipulation, propaganda, gatekeeping, celebrity endorsements, hawk, psychological manipulation, and fear-mongering. We are done in the five dimensions of information and media such as text, visual, audio, motion, and manipulative. But there is one dimension of information in media that we have not yet discussed, and that is the multimedia information and media. Have you ever been assigned by your teacher to report in class? There are a variety of multimedia tools which you can use to organize your presentation and make it more interesting for the audience, such as PowerPoint presentation, audio visual presentation, overhead projector, and smartboard. And we have finished discussing the world dimension of information and media. Again, the different dimensions of information and media are text, visual, audio, motion, manipulative, and multimedia information and media. I'm hoping that you understand well the topic that we discussed today. And now, let us proceed for your next activities. In this activity, you will going to answer the following questions that will flash on your screen. Since it requires a lot of time to finish it, you may answer this later if you have an enough time. This activity is available in your module, so don't worry if you don't finish it immediately. Here are the sample questions that you need to answer. For this activity, you will going to write and answer at least 3 to 5 advantages and limitations of different dimensions of information and media. Since it requires an added time to finish it, you may answer this later if you have an available time. This activity is also available in your module, so don't worry if you don't finish it immediately. Here is the sample table form that you need to answer. So this is your last activity class. What you're going to do here is to identify at least three different dimensions of information and media that can be found in your house or part of your personal stock. You will analyze how these dimensions are formally and informally produced, organized, and disseminated by writing a brief description about it. So each dimension must have an evidence by taking a picture. But take note that the captured image must not be downloaded from the internet or taken from someone's photo. So in short, it must be originally taken by you. In case that there's no available device for taking a picture, it can be hand-drawn as an alternative solution. So similar in other activities, you may answer this later if you have a sufficient time and this also available in your module. So here is the sample format of this activity. I know that you have tons of activities to do and your mind is full of information because of our discussion. But let me remind you to not forget to smile and relax after doing this activity. So now, in a piece of paper, jot down at least 
three answers about what new and interesting information have you learned and how can you use and apply this information in your daily living. You will submit this together with your answers in other activities. And now, the final part of our discussion is come. So get your paper and pen and get ready because it's time to test your full understanding by taking your assessment. Direction. Identify the different dimensions of information and media described in each statement. Write TM for text information and media, VM for visual information and media, AM for audio information and media, MM for motion information and media, MA for manipulative information and media, and MI for multimedia information and media. Write the answer on a separate piece of paper. Now, let us check how many correct answers you have got in the post test. And here ends our discussion for today. May you embrace all the learnings that you have learned and use it properly as part of your daily living. If you have any question or clarification, just send your personal message to my Facebook Messenger account in John Lexter Emberador. You may also send it via email in johnlexter.emberador at deped.gov.ph. For another tutorial video like this, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel account in Sir John and do not forget to like and share it with your friends and classmates for them to learn also just like you. So thanks for watching and listening and see you in our next episode. Bye!